What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Madden Career Mode featuring Escobar Sanchez. And on the last episode, Sanchez exploded in overtime in the first possession of overtime, catching three receptions on the drive and also this game winning catch to go ahead and win the game. So moving on into week seven, five and oh, 5-0 going against the 3-3 three three Cleveland Browns and I will tell you this going against Joe Hayden is probably the toughest toughest matchup Escobar Sanchez has had to face ever since going against Richard Sherman in week one but you see he does get his first catch of the game arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small quarterback but on that drive, we weren't able to get into the end zone. So on a fourth and four, we have to settle for the field goal, giving us the three point lead. They put up three, completes the pass. He should have seen the defense. Later on in the second quarter, the Cleveland Browns did score a touchdown, and the St. Louis Rams find themselves down by four. And Nick Foles just throws a horrible pass on third and seven. And Joe Hayden decides to get in the face of Escobar Sanchez. And watch how Escobar slaps Joe Hayden in the helmet. There's not really much history between these two, but you do not talk smack to Escobar Sanchez. On the third and three, Nick Foles finds Jerry Cook for the touchdown. His first receiving TD of the season. And that touchdown puts them in a very good position. Finding himself wide open in the back of the end zone, giving us the lead at home in St. Louis. And late into the fourth quarter, this was not an exciting game. I decided to cut it short because nothing really happened this game. But on the third and 11, trying to kick this drive alive, trying to keep the ball away from the Cleveland Browns, Nick Foles finds Escobar Sanchez for the first down. And that gives him five catches of the game, which he does complete his milestone for the game. So we end up winning this game 10 to 7. The record may not look like it, but the Cleveland Browns were our toughest opponent. As they only had as they only held the most explosive offense to only 10 points. So moving on into the next week's game, we are going against the San Francisco 49ers. And they are struggling. They have been struggling all season. Their defense hasn't been stepping up to the plate. So we decide to take advantage of just that. Nick Foles throws it to Kenny Brick, but that ball's incomplete. So we punt the ball away. And the San Francisco 49ers offense, they do score. So we do find ourselves down by seven. But there goes a pass to Kenny Brick from Nick Foles. This is the time where we said, you know what? We're going to exploit that 49ers defense doing pass after pass. Third and three. Nick Foles drops back and finds Escobar Sanchez again for the first down. And we're just setting them up with these short passes and on the third and 13 Nick Foles throws a dot to quick who gets the first down first and 10 dropping back Nick Foles finds Escobar Sanchez the cornerback who was covering Escobar just got lost and that gives me four receptions for 36 yards in only the first half so on a third and five, Nick Foles throwing a fade route to Escobar. But Escobar cannot hold down. He cannot pull down the catch for the score. So that leads us to a fourth and five where we have to settle for the field goal. And that's one thing I have to work on is making sure that I come down with the football going down to the ground. I have to increase my spectacular catch. Kick is good for 
three. Moving on into the next drive, the San Francisco 49ers offense did not score, so the score is still 7-3. to three. A similar situation where we were in last week's game with the Browns, but we did come out with the win. And on the third and three, Nick Foles, play action, decides to go deep, throwing a perfect dot to Escobar Sanchez, who beats his man and catches a touchdown pass. Beating his man towards the back of the end zone, Nick Foles places that football right in the hands of Escobar. The concentration to pull that football in and to make sure his feet was in bounds. Not only was that a beautiful play, but it gives the San Fran, it gives the St. Louis Rams the lead. So we do get the ball back before the half is over. The score is 10 to 7. So we just we continue to try to take the top off the defense. And Nick Foles throwing a pass to Kenny Brick, who comes down with the ball at the 15-yard line. The confidence is booming right now. Mossing two defenders on the San Francisco 49ers making it look easy the very next play Escobar Sanchez going up in the air catching it over two defenders we have a 6-6 body frame 210 pounds he just makes it look easy on the very next play Nick Foles just dumping it down to Kendricks for the touchdown And we are just eating the San Francisco 49ers defense alive. On our very next possession, the score is already 24 to 10. We're trying to take the top off the defense. 37, Nick Foles drops back. And why not go to his number one target, Escobar, who beats the double coverage on his way into the end zone. Second touchdown of the game. Showcasing his speed, showcasing his hands. As we continue to take the top off the defense. So on our very next possession, scores 31 to 10. Third and 10, why not hit him with the double move and lose my defender and again Escobar Sanchez is showboating his way into the end zone. Why not? He had a hell of a day. Three touchdowns, including this 56 yarder. The double move was nasty on the cornerback. No safety help up top. A perfectly placed ball by Nick Foles, giving us not only the major lead, but in the end, the ultimate win over our divisional rivals. So after all the passing yards we came in this game, we won against our NFC West rivals, the San Francisco 49ers, which leave us up top in the NFC West division. Not only that, but also the whole division, the whole conference of the NFC. We're still undefeated, and hopefully, hopefully, we can continue to keep beating teams.